But I guess when on Sam TikTok. Pepper changed his TikTok description to the two words lottery winner, then claimed to have purchased an island in Thailand for $8.9 million, it was certainly bizarre and suspicious. I have a gym. budget of around $10 million. I can drive my, my speedboat directly in here, put a panoramic window right in here. I shook his hand, $8.9 million, great deal. What was even stranger was that Sam hadn't provided any evidence for this unexpected lucky win. No receipts, no specification as to how much he had won, no news articles about I mean, it's TikTok, TikTok winning the lottery. They're fucking the only evidence he had was his own dumb. Personal. Like they don't and even have object permanence yet. He won the lottery, as some of you know. And a seven million view TikTok of him looking at islands in a small wooden boat. So when Sam Pepper was Thanks unable to provide cush. any evidence to support the fact that he had any money at all, it was hardly a surprise. As those who know the past of Sam Pepper, from his active persona on Big Brother to his fake pranks on YouTube, know that hey, that's the one I was talking about. Been built on lies in a similar fashion to Dan Bilzerian, who he unsurprisingly happens to be an acquaintance of, judging from an Instagram photo taken out the front of Bilzerian's LA mansion. This I think unironically, being Sam Pepper has to be truly miserable. The man's entire life, from everything I've seen, has been just living a full-blown lie. And I don't think he even has that much money to his name. I remember not that long ago, I think he was homeless. So he just lives a full-blown fake fabricated life and doesn't even make a living off of it because he has so many problems and just wastes all the money he scams. What a crazy cycle. What a absolutely, truly awful existence. This video will cover the story of a man who faked, frauded, and swindled his way to social media and TikTok prime. success, being Dudes. exposed at every single point in his journey, yet still managing to maintain his relevancy on Twitter, over I a 10-year period, albeit with one of the worst reputations in internet history. All this stuff is fake. Like, we believe it all. But it's really fake. Before he would fake his way to success on TikTok with videos like this one, in which he'd gotten someone to dress up as Justin Bieber. Oh, is that Justin Bieber? Yeah. Oh my god. What do you call a gal from Canada that can't sing? Justin Bieber. <laughs> Sam Pepper had a prolific reputation on YouTube as one of the fakest pranksters on the platform dating back to the early 2010s. So I yeah. worked out, oh, okay, I can do these pranks that these other channels are doing. And he I was one of the first them. internet like, punching like bags. Fake, fake videos. However, prior or to even YouTube this, punching Sam Pepper bags. had already begun to show his fake persona to the world in 2010 when he would appear on the show Big Brother UK for the very first time. In his Big Brother profile, he claimed to particularly dislike girls who put on a dumb act, yet this is seemingly what Sam began to gain a reputation reputation for in the early days of his online career. However, one advantage that he did get out of his appearance on Big Brother was traffic to his brand new Thanks YouTube channel, carbonated. where he began to do pranks at a time when there were barely any other YouTubers doing pranks on the platform. And there's like three channels that made pranks. There was me, there was like Prank vs. Prank, and there was Ed Bassmaster. Really, they were the only kind of- Damn, what an OG Ed. And in the beginning, it was obvious that they were real. The reactions felt authentic, Thanks and there was wizard. way too many people in each video for Sam to have been paying all of them. I'm really sorry, guys, I've just farted. Sorry, guys, I've just farted. You should have a bit of respect and a bit of manners. So yeah, right? sorry, what man. Kind of an do you think I couldn't that? hold it in. What kind of an animal do you think you are? I know, I'm sorry, I did say, I did say sorry, sorry. However, in 2014 and 2015, Sam ran into a problem. Yeah, he here it is. Massive levels of competition from other YouTube pranksters who were faking their videos. Then all these other Didn't he go to the UK after he saved the kids? I don't know what he did after that. More and more and more crazy stuff. Because I come from doing pranks, I'd be like, there's no way they could be doing that. And that's when I worked out, all this stuff is fake. This was clearly it doesn't a take a genius to know that, man. Pepper and his social media career. Anyone over the age of 14 journey, knows each that. Each of these fake pranksters have this similar awakening, where they realize they can get way more views if they simply fake whichever reaction they desire, and that there's no actual requirement or guideline saying that their pranks need to be real. Each justify their actions by saying that a bunch of things on TV are fake, or this is fake, or that is fake, and as a result, there's no reason as to why their pranks can't be fake either. Now, faking stuff for social media is a high-risk, high-reward strategy. Sure, it increases the quality of the videos massively, as you're going to get that exact reaction. It's which not really high perfect. risk. However, this only lasts until the audience inevitably discovers that the videos are fake, making it optimal only in the short term. We discussed this in the video talking about how Vitaly destroyed his reputation. As soon as the audience discovers that you faked even one video, they assume that every single video you've ever made is fake, completely removing all of your credibility in the space of about a month. The point at which Sam Pepper's 
audience discovered that his pranks were fake is pretty damn obvious. On his social blade, he went from gaining 100,000 oh. subscribers every single month consistently between January 2013 and September 2014. However, one month later in October 2014, the growth not only stopped, but he began to lose around 10,000 subscribers every single month. The catalyst for this massive dive in viewership was a video titled Fake Hand Ass Pinch Prank. And after receiving a barrage of criticism from other cool YouTubers, prank his idea. most recent fake hand ass pinch garnered the most negative attention because he was grabbing women's bottoms without their permission. As well as a trending hashtag on Twitter stating, report Sam Pepper. He had no other choice but to admit that the video had been faked. I want to say that all the videos were staged and scripted. It goes without saying you can't go around touching people's bums without asking. It was a double whammy or two for the price of one. Not only Jesus had he been exposed Christ. to faking pranks, but he also had his name dragged through the mud as a result of the backlash from the video. Sam began posting real pranks again following the expose in the hope that it would fix his reputation. However, as mentioned previously, once your audience knows you faked even one video, they assume they're all fake. Switching yeah, but you still the have the audience to some degree. Subscriber count, so Sam made a decision. It was time to go back to faking his videos. I'm still making videos, making videos, and then it gets to a point where I'm like, okay, well, I've made fake videos before and they've done well and they've got like decent views. Why don't I make, you know, another video? And that brings me on to making the best friend killing prank. Yeah, that's the, the best one. friend killing prank. Arguably one of, if not the most over the top, insane YouTube pranks of all time. Certainly crazy enough to put Sam Pepper's name back on the map. Involved in the video was the fake kidnapping of two friends, after which one of the Fuck, I remember this killed well. right in front of I remember other, this very with the well. The premise of the video being how will someone react if they watch their friend get killed? Let's see how he reacts to his best friend of five years <laughs> being killed in front of him. Obviously, the whole thing was. What a fake. good prank. All three people were in on it, even coming up with the idea together. Sam's channel, like, well, he just came to us and wanted. What would happen if I. I executed your stunt. family. Like, okay, cool. We'll help you out with Would he find stunt. it enjoyable so when I reveal they're not dead? came up with the idea together before we even filmed it. However, while everyone knew that the prank had been faked, it had a similar effect to the previous scandal. Did you know making this type of prank uh, would be so controversial? <laughs> All it did was once Matthew? again reveal to everyone that Sam Pepper was the kind of guy to fake his videos, reducing his credibility even further. With this in mind, it's no surprise that almost all of his audience bailed on his YouTube channel from that point onwards. He managed to stop the decline of his subscriber count for a couple of months in late 2016, as shown on screen. However, he'd thrown the towel only a couple of months later, uploading his final video on the 5th of March 2017 before departing with a Malefancy. legacy as one of the most deplorable fake pranksters in YouTube history. Around a year later, he'd show up on the CX network doing some IRL live streams alongside Ice Poseidon. We're literally just showing Sam the ropes of IRL streaming and just, you know, I, we're going to just throw him in the deep end here and just see how he does. With the Damn, I can't believe it's already been so like four or five years. The comment on the video praised Ice Poseidon by stating, love how you don't judge people or care about reputations. Sam had some success as an IRL streamer in the CX network. However, he was ultimately dropped after an argument with Ice Poseidon, which had partially been fueled by Sam Pepper's lack of integrity. He's like, oh, it's okay to lie as long as it doesn't affect anything. And that's not okay. Like, why are you telling my girlfriend it's okay to lie to me? as long as it doesn't affect anything. Like, dude, this is not your relationship. After this, Sam Pepper disappeared from the mainstream. His reputation Until was crypto scams, baby. He had left to offer, and it seemed as though the Sam Pepper saga was finally dead and buried, alongside the many other failed YouTubers. He's just an actual cockroach. Him. However, it would be when Sam Pepper found always a comes new back. audience on a new platform that his fraudulent antics I didn't know about the TikTok continue. thing, though. Okay, Chris, I pulled out some of my savings. I clipped it onto these balloons. This is a trust exercise. Turn around, I'm gonna go three, two, one, go. You gotta turn around and quickly grab them. Don't let this go, this is my savings. Okay, okay, okay. Three, two, one. Chris! Chris! I don't want to, you said Chris! Oh, no! Video, which was clearly set up and probably used a stack of fake $100 bills, racked up over 28 million views. Now, the most interesting part about Sam Pepper's TikTok blow up is that it follows the exact same trend as his YouTube journey. He blows up with a genuine heartfelt video about saving some duck eggs from a restaurant, then progressively makes his content more and more staged. And by the end, he's claiming that he's won the lottery with Thanks absolutely you, zero evidence. Now, to Best. Sam Pepper's credit, as we mentioned previously, a lot of his TikToks were genuine authentic authentic creative ideas, especially in the beginning. However, with videos such as this clearly fake one gaining over 18 million views. Sam is scum. Yeah, dude sucks. Open this. Hey, let's do that. It's really no surprise that he began to make his videos faker and faker. I know this is really crazy, but if I play you rock, paper, scissors and I win, can I like rip this down the street? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> oh my god, get fucked, idiot. Get fucked, dummy. 
people who think this is real. The countless fake viral videos receiving massive view counts and minimal backlash likely gave Sam Pepper the idea that he could literally just say whatever, regardless of how unbelievable True. it happened to be, leading to his completely fictitious claim about winning the lottery. When you Google Sam Pepper wins lottery or Sam Pepper lottery, the only results that come like up are his TikTok QRC. video, the same video posted to his Instagram, and an old forum post titled as follows. That's just Scam TikTok. Pepper yeah, man. A life of luxury the TikTok is just... Followers for millions and that's a wax. wild way He's claiming to have won the lottery while shopping for islands and a new fan base to scam. This refers to the whole Save the Kids scandal that yeah. was exposed by Coffeezilla back in July 2021. In the final episode of his series, Coffeezilla discovered that Sam Pepper was potentially at the heart of the entire scam and had fled the USA to move back to the United Kingdom. It looks like Sam Pepper is fleeing the United States to escape legal accountability for what happened. But I asked him about this and he of course denies this categorically. Therefore, this post dating Scam Pepper living a life of luxury after scamming his followers for millions assumes that he does actually have the money, only that he's covering it up oh, by saying sad he won the lottery the as opposed to the truth, being that he might have received it from the Save the Kids crypto scam. Although, in order to be buying an $8.9 million island in Thailand, you're probably going to need around 50 to 100 million in order for it to be a comfortable purchase. And while Sam Pepper has had a fairly successful social media career, I doubt he has access to that kind of money. I Obviously, can assure you he doesn't. This to rest would be for Sam Pepper he's a serial scammer kind of who is also lottery, historically awful with money. However, with a track record like Sam's filled with no fake chance. video after fake video. It seems pretty obvious that like the rest of his entire career, this is nothing more than yet. So is this hoax. what he does now? Like full time? He just full time pretends to be a lottery winner on TikTok? I mean, I guess it's better than the alternative of scamming everyone. He, now he's just lying again. Yep. <laughs> wow. What an interesting loser. Yeah, I mean, it's like an OG punching bag for the internet. Killing best friend prank is a timeless classic. It really is. Literally Dan Bilzerian. There's a huge difference between Sam Pepper and Dan Bilzerian. Dan Bilzerian was a massively rich kid from birth because of his dad. Sam Pepper pretends to be a massively rich guy from scamming. They're both like genuine full-blown liars living a fake life. But at the very least, Dan does have a lot of money to back it up because of his family. Sam has nothing besides lying on TikTok and scamming 16-year-olds on Twitter out of crypto.